Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. Um, I'm gonna have to warn you guys, it's a little bit late at night, so I'm gonna be talking very, very softly because I don't want to wake anyone up. But, um, I have to make a video now because the new patch notes just came out. So, um, I'm just gonna be talking a little bit and kind of just uh, reviewing the new patch notes. This is Fantasy ASMR patch note review. Alright. Okay, so uh, let's, let's let's begin. Let's begin. Um, first of all, first of all, I'm, I'm gonna keep like one one side of the ear off my ear just to make sure I don't talk too loud. Alright. Um, okay, so first thing is there's gonna be a discount on the 30 day package. It's it's an 80% discount price, so I think they're gonna sell it for like one dollar, which is I guess really cheap. So I think most people can can buy that. It's basically a uh, thousand and one astrogens for like one dollars. So it's like it's not it's, it's definitely not too bad. Um, they're also releasing a a. Uh, adventure package to basically clear through the other stages. I'm not sure how, how much this is going to cost, but it basically has a gleam, a few uh, high secret eggs, a light dark egg, and that's some golden energy and 600 astrogens. It's not, um, I wouldn't say it's too special. And Mari package, um, they're going to increase the, the sale, I guess so more people can buy it um, there's another event going on basically you just use energy and it gives you energy gold and astrogens back and then um, you find Nez on the ship it gives you high secret eggs and after you complete it it gives you a light dark egg and it gives you a legendary egg so that's definitely not not too bad either uh, let me let me take a look at, at a clan, clan apprenticeship. So, um, clan apprenticeship, clan apprentice system. This is a system that helps user who joined the past thirty days to settle down on a clan throughout the clan apprentice. Clan apprentice condition: if you ask to join or is managed by clan manager within thirty days of making an account, you are able to become a clan apprentice. Other than having thirty clans in one clan you can also have 10 apprentices separately but if you are included in the conditions below you cannot become an apprentice you join within 30 days before the update of clan apprentice system you made your own clan request to join clan apprentice okay so what the heck do you actually do as an apprentice apprentice can participate a total of five times including clans starting work during this period you'll be able to do the attend attendance and participate in clan battle, but will spend less energy compared to normal clans. Also, you won't get kicked out of during this period, but you might be able to be kicked out when not accessing the game for more than seven days and won't be able to resign. So I guess this means you can become a clan member, but not a real clan member. and. Um, but this is only reserved for new players, so only new players can become apprentices. And if you be become apprentice, um, basically you can participate in clan battles, and um, it has a reduced cost, so you don't have to spend that much in doing clan battles. So I guess this is a yeah, this is a win-win situation for clans and for new players. I guess that's 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 the way I see it. Uh, next, next thing, um, let's see, we got, oh yeah, we got this new pen pen, um, event, it's basically a two star capture event, we don't know exactly, exactly, um, what they're used for, really, maybe they can be used to view something in the future, um, there is actually two new monsters out, and there there are only light dark versions of them. So I'm thinking this is going to be a repeat of something similar to the Venus event. I'll be talking about that a little bit later when I'm reviewing the monsters. Um, 
maintenance notice. So, uh, let me see. So this is the actual patch notes. Those are actually event um, notifications. So there's going to be new, new area, new Astromons, um, nine new Astromons, Yeti, Mino, Grongar, Penpen, Otari, Nifa, and Namoni, Wendigo, and Radis. The new area, Glacial Plains, and Aurora Plateau will be opened after defeating the boss on an extreme slumbering city. Entire skill books related to Glacial and Aurora Plateau will be added. So basically, all the new monsters will be able to get skill books. Um, quests related to Glacial Plains and Aurora Plateau will be added. Missions on the top left of the main screen, chapter 31 to 36, will be added. Um, you'll get a legendary egg after you complete it. Um, clan apprenticeship, you basically, um, I, I kind of talked about this a little bit before. There's going to be a new clan roll call bonus. Um, clan roll call bonus will be activated after clicking the pl clan plaza's roll call bonus. You will be able to participate um, from this to this time based on the current time zone. Clan attendance check reward has two types. Attendance reward is distributed as soon as you click the button and reward depending on the number of attendance check of the clan battle immediate distribution um, clan point 10 people battle point so i think this is basically the the score for your clan if you have more people in attendance um your the score of your clan is higher and you, your clan will basically um, be ranked higher i think that's that's basically it um, bonus battle reward point will be applied based on the battle starting period. You'll be able to check the acquired points in clan battle result tab. Bonus battle point won't be affected by actual clan boss. Okay. More details on clan apprenticeship will be um, found at the system guide or whatever. Clan balance update slaying level 100 boss. Clan battle will be reformed. Um, will be applied from the new season july 24th clan battle titan order will, element will be changed um, 1 to 50 titan attack will be reduced light titan status effect will be reduced as much as different element titans um, light titan will have 100 percent crit but have one third of attack skill of other element of titans it will give similar damage but be will be able to gain advantage when using blind skills um, the area available to challenge the clan will be extended from four to eight areas. So this is basically, you know, where you, at the beginning of the week, your clan leader applies to do battles in a certain area. Um, basically the second continent is also open now. Existing, um, three star evolve skill. What? Sap? Three star. Sap 80% evolve skill. Sap two turn 80%. I have no idea what the fuck this means. Um, clan intended that Astromon damage result recorded added. So basically, everyone will be see will be able to see everybody's contribution basically throughout the week and see how much damage um, everyone is doing. Celebration for the new content and mate or, or update. Um, two star pen pen capture event pen pen capture event will be added. We are planning to distribute you with a with a light pen pen um, event astromon. Two star pen pen will only appear in Phantom Forest, a slumbering city. Um, pen pen appears at glacial plains, and our normal astromon will not appear in Aurora Plateau. Um, pen pen will be captured as Evil One. Wait, what? Oh shit, what? Wait, so basically what they're doing in order to force us to farm the new maps is they're going to be cucking us with these pen pens on normal maps. So they'll just like randomly pop up and stop your auto runs. Uh, basically making your, your shit harder to farm, I guess. Since these monsters are normal two stars that appear in glacial plains so they're not nothing they're nothing special oh god i was thinking i was thinking there were going to be like there's going to be like another venus or pinolo event 
um, Colossus Dungeon Balance Adjustment. Colossus Immune will be changed from not Action Inhibiting Sap Thirst and Seal. Action Inhibiting Seal Effect. Um, Colossus Boss Passive will be added. So basically you can sap the Colossus now, but um, saps won't do as much damage as it normally does. Like it won't straight out do 5%. Um, Astromon Balance Adjustment. 3 star Water Yeti's attack defense recovery stat will be increased by 5%. So that's that's definitely good. Yeti's a good monster. Skill book added. Light and Dark Lat skill book will be added. So I'm thinking one of two things can happen. One is the Lat becomes a new rebirth monster for next month. Um, two, the Lat becomes a 3 star monster that is basically just summonable from Light Dark Eggs, similar to the Cosmos or the Colts. Um, adventure package, celebration of new content hype. Adventure package, I kind of talked a little bit about this before. Um, Yeti event will be finished, and this this thing is actually pretty interesting. So, um, Skyfalls and Slumbering City is going to be made easier for people to get to the new content more easily. So basically, they're they're going to be um, making slumbering city and sky falls easier to farm i don't know if this is going to adjust the gold gain that you get from slumbering city and sky falls but hopefully not if not and i can farm slumbering city as far as as fast as i'm far farming a uh, star sanctuary that would actually be pretty insane uh what else we got so we got minnow minotaur will be encountered in ancient golem dungeon what is this they're gonna add a new two-star monster into golems. That's interesting. Elemental chart will be added left corner of initial battle window. You will be able to experience and Mari as support Astromon. Okay, that's interesting as well. Um, and then some error fixes. All right, so that that is pretty much it for the. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the official. Um, patch notes now what we're going to be looking at next is actually some new astromon skills um of some of the new new monsters wait this, i didn't actually look at the mammoths yet we're gonna, we're gonna look at these as well um we don't have the skills for the pen pens but we have the skills for everything else i think oh wait we got pen pen amino skills as well okay so um these guys are all two stars. Penpens are defenders. Um, critical strike, 100% chance to recover SP by 100%. On critical hit, attack down for two turns. So this is very very similar to the uh, the Mushi, the Wood Mushi, but is instead going to be giving a a uh, two turn attack down, like 100% two turn attack down. But this is only activatable on the second turn, so that's not. I wouldn't say it's too good. Um, Water Pen Pen is another slot filler. Attack down and blind, both decent skills for Titan. Fatigue recovery down, this is not usable. Um, Light Pen Pen, 80% chance taunt for two turns. And on attack, 100% chance recover HP by 30%. So I think this, this could be a Colossus monster um, if it has decent stats, but these are only two stars, so I'm not too sure. I think they only two stars you can really only use for Titans. Um, dark pen pen 100% chance to recover SP by 40% attack increase in portion portion to HP loss vengeance so this is actually the new passive skill basically this works as a um, the more HP you lose the more damage you do it's very straightforward if you got this is a very very popular passive in a lot of other games if you ever played a uh, summoners war and you have Trevor this is his passive if you played uh, League of Legends, and this is like Olaf's passive. If you played Dota, this is uh, Huskar's passive, basically. <laughs> uh, very, very straightforward. Um, leader skill, allies defense increased by 20 to 25%. It's not too bad. Actually, I can see like maybe these two being usable for, for Titans, because you can, it has a nice uh, defense lead. Fire Mino. On critical hit, 100% chance to recover SP by 50%. When attacking Wood Astromon, when attacking Fire Astromon. So these guys all have 100 elemental advantage. They basically serve as like a, a pseudo Beth 
but I don't think it's as good. Um, it has a recovery lead, so they're usable, um, but I don't think it's they're exactly optimal. So this is the Mammoth. They are four star monsters. So these guys are actually, um, I think they're the new legendary in the new continent. You know, if they're, new, if they're the new legendary, then these two are not obtainable. The light and dark ones aren't obtainable. Maybe, maybe they're obtainable, but it's gonna be like the the uh, the Maras. They're they're gonna be like non-obtainable. Um, Taunt Adrenaline. This is def I think this is gonna be really good for uh, Colossus, definitely, because he, he's also a tank type. Um, this is an attacker, double hunter, very very nice. Like basically like a budget water Omnioji. Um, this is Adrenaline. He's a defender, but he has a passive heal of 10% and an armor break. So I think all three of these monsters are usable. Water one's probably best. And these two, I'm not sure if they're going to be obtainable, but this is going to be sick. 80% attack down, 80% blind. Um, and then self-heal adrenaline plus vengeance. Not, not too bad, but I don't think it's too good either. Um... But yeah, this 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 one's definitely gonna be a usable monster. Okay, so here's my theory: the the Nifas are two monsters, um, two light and dark monsters. I thought before that they were, it would possibly be that these two monsters are going to be um, like the Venus event, you know, from before. But I think what's more likely because the the Penpens are just normal monsters that you can catch in Glacial Plains. Um, it's more likely that these two monsters will be similar to the Mari package, I think. I think that's probably more likely. Um, but they could also be event monsters. So they're either event monsters or they're, they're package monsters. They're basically going to be some sort of special monster that you don't obtain normally. Um, the light one's really nice as well, Double Hunter. You can't go wrong with Double Hunter. Um, Dark one has Attack Down and Adrenaline. Both these two skills are are useful, so they're they're not too bad. Um, but I don't, I don't know, like this is not really usable in Titans. And Attack Down is mostly good for Titans, so... But then you can actually just use, use this guy as a normal healer um, as well, so he's, he's not too bad. Predator Adrenaline, a three star. Um, fire Attacker with Death Blow of, for Fire Astromons. I say it's decent, but then, then again, three stars are mostly mediocre unless they have like very, very good um, Titan skills. Adrenaline Taunt grants 100% chance to restore 20% of own SP. Yeah, Adrenaline. Adrenaline Taunt. Yeah, not, not really all that useful either. Um, morale boost, stun, balance type, 3 star. Okay, not not, not usable either. Uh, it's just, it, it really isn't. Um, courageous strike attack down, this is this is sick. This one's sick. Like this is, this one is, is really sick for titans. Um, yeah, and he's, he's an attacker type, but you know, it's still, it's still pretty good. This one's got Vengeance Adrenaline. This is a very interesting monster. I don't know how good Vengeance actually is, but it could actually be really, really strong. Because if you attack him, and then he, he hits you back with Vengeance, it, it might be able to do a lot of damage. And uh, Adrenaline will help him, you know, self-heal. I was actually hoping I could get a monster with, like, double Vengeance and, like, gem him with a leech set. That would actually be pretty sick as well. Um, I was looking at the Yetis. Now, I actually have a. Th I, I actually think these these monsters are going to be the new. Um, they're going to be the new, like rare monsters, and I think the Yetis are going to be the super rare monsters in the new continent. Basically, um, I think that's that's the most likely thing that the yetis are going to be the super rare and then these are going to be the the normal rare monsters and um 
the Fire Yeti has has a uh, Hunter and Blind. Um, I think it's decent. It's not too bad. He could, could possibly use it for Titans. Taunt and Sap may be usable for Colossus. It's also tank type. Uh, this is so fucking sick. This is basically like a light Rocky, but instead of a 50% two turn shock, it's a 70% one turn shock. And if you get this monster, it's basically like a super easy to build light Rocky. So she's going to be very, very good on defense. I think the light dark yetis are going to be from eggs only. I don't think they're going to have an event for the yetis, but I could be completely wrong. The dark yeti is a balance type with stun and seal. 80% um, stun, 70% two turn seal, AOE seal. Balance type not really all that good in my opinion um but i think the light one's ex excellent maybe i'm just biased i really like morale boost the uh the fire radis is like he's like basically a budget fire gin he's got morale boost predator attack type fire so he's basically like a budget fire gin the wood one's got a 30 percent three turn attack down and a a 70% one turn. I think this guy is usable as a filler monster for Titans, although I don't really like the super low um, chances. Stun, this guy's not really, he doesn't really have any practical use in my opinion. Um, double, sip, double sap light monster attacker. I would have wished this guy was dark. I would, I wish these two swapped, but uh, you can you can definitely use this guy. You can use him as a as a sap monster for um, if you're running a full light team for Golden Speed 10. I think that definitely works. Um, Dark Radis is stun and aggression um, defender type. I'm not too sure. I think you can use him in PvP defense. PvP defense definitely um, could be pretty good. I'm not. I'm not too. I'm not really too sure. We're gonna have to see the max level stats of these monsters to be to be really really sure um but yeah that's it that's pretty much it that 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 is the end of my asmr review all right um yeah hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed that that was a uh, that was just me taking a really quick look like a first look at the patch notes that literally just came out i'm sorry for the asmr but um tomorrow's daily video i will be able to actually you know really take a look at it but anyways thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out wait shit i can't close it